Welcome to Behind the Scenes at ID8 Studios, the place where we explore the art of producing art. I'm Steve Sue with... Crystal Backey, and we're here with Karen Yates. Good morning, Hi, Steve. Crystal. Hi, how are you doing? Good. So we're going to talk to you a little bit about the topic of... How to turn your dream into an art product. Ooh. What was your dream? What does that mean? You had a dream and you made a product, so you're an entrepreneur. Yeah, kind of. It's a um, fancy word for I... somebody that makes stuff. <laughs> Well, it all started with a very simple idea, and I wanted to make something beautiful that was practical and functional, and my inspiration for it was a sculptress called Barbara Hepworth, and I saw a sculpture. Are you an artist, first of all? Not you really. I'm, in trained, I'm interested in art, okay. and, but I'm more of a creative thinker. Yeah. So I saw this beautiful piece of sculpture one day, and I thought, wow, that would make wonderful storage in my garden because I hate garden sheds. The UK's gardens are full of garden sheds. But my partner at the time said to me, oh, you always think so big. Why can't you start off a little bit smaller? And I lived in a small flat at the time. And I, so I decided to develop a planter with storage. And a then, planter with storage. Yeah, so from that, it then developed into what else can we do with this planter? Well, what's the name of it? It's called Potfolio. 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 Yeah. So what does that mean? Why pot? I don't know. Arty. I don't know what to well, think about like a planter with storage, like yeah. like a a planter, like a. You know, like you see a regular plant plants. on the street. Yes. Or like some streets will have like waste containers, and you have all this rubbish, but instead of just having like a waste container, this is also a planter. So the planter sits on the top on a shelf because not all plants have a large root ball. And then underneath, there's the storage. Mm. But the planter for the waste and recycling has an aperture on the front panel that removes. So people just put the rubbish What's in an there. aperture? It's an opening. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. did you know that? It's an no, opening. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But also, of course, it can be decorative. Yeah. So you can make your streets look really funky. We invite people to do their own art on the planters as well and for children's play areas because I got the impression them. I got the impression that it was like it was like a canvas because when you say pot yeah. I get the word pot means plants yeah. and folio to me is more like art like I don't know is that right like uh, portfolio or something yeah like, like portfolio, portfolio. Yeah, it's and a play it also, in portfolio and it also be... comes from like portfolio do you know portfolio? So an artist would have like a, a portfolio of work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we thought. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's very, it was a play on words, really, to come so, up with Because I took it like it was art with plants and also art that's whatever painted on the outside yep. of it. It's yep. like a canvas. Yep. Is yep. that true? Not yep. true. Yeah, no, that's, that's absolutely true. So, but actually it has three functional uses. It's three in one. So it, it's in a medium for expressing yourself artistically on the outside. You can have a plant in it, and it's for storage, but you can store it. It doesn't have to be a waste and recycling container. If you live in a small studio, you can store your crap in it. <laughs> it's out of sight. Yeah. So your crap looks beautiful without even seeing it. <laughs> okay. You know? So how do you get this type of idea off the ground? Uh, takes a while. Um, first is it made of, of all, what is it made of? Is it plastic? Is it no, wood? No, no, it's made of metal, which is infinitely recyclable. So it's really so important. So they're made one by one? It's not made in a mold or something like that? No, it's cut through sheet metal cutting and okay. welding. Yeah. Oh, so, so how many do like you that. make at a time? Really, it's, it's quite bespoke because people require different sizes. What's bespoke mean? Bespoke means individual to you. So like... Crystal might decide she wants one for her apartment and she needs it to be like oh, 110 oh. Custom, high. you're yeah, saying? Yeah, custom. It's custom. Right. Yes. So if I come in and I say, I've got this little tiny space in my little tiny apartment and it's real skinny, you can, yeah. you'll come in and measure it? Yeah, yeah. Um, but then also we'd make it look artistic. So I might say to you, instead of having one big one, you got to stay up here, trip. honey. You're, you're on a podcast. You're, you're going, what are you doing? She's like, two laps in our studio. I got ants in my pants. What the heck? Yeah. Stop with the ants. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I might say, let's have a tower of three. So, it looks architectural in your apartment. So, you can be creative around what you're doing in your own personal space as well or in your own personal yard. So you're like being an architect inside of an architectural edifice. Yeah, absolutely. 
Hmm. Do you get that? Yeah. You're kind of artistic. Or designer. Well, You're like a designer. Yeah. I just had this idea. And it's one of those things I wake up thinking about it every day and how to develop it even further and how useful it can be in other areas. Ah. Like you could do with one here in the studio, Steve. We want a <laughs> big one, <laughs> huge one. I want one big enough I can put Crystal in that aperture. Yeah. Yeah. You could, just you open could. the window and I see you. Hey, yeah. Crystal. And she'd be like, hey, what's up? I <laughs> love it. I love the yeah. aperture. Yeah. 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 We could have cameramen inside. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We could so, do yeah. like a puppet show. Mm -hmm. One aperture for Crystal, one aperture for Steve, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one aperture for a guest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With all the plants above us. Yeah. We'll call it Port Aperture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you come up with that name? That's very artistic. Portfolio, well, the name changed. First of all, it was Entrepot. Entrepot. Which was derived from a French word meaning uh, storage. But for the oh. UK market, we thought that was a bit too fancy. What's the French word for storage? Entreposé, I think it is. Oh, really? Yeah. No kidding. Oh, I was thinking entrepreneur. That's no, my, yeah. on, entrep entrepot. Well, I was thinking an entree like is yeah. in food. So we decided Throw it was... your old food rubbish. In the, uh, <laughs> it's, in, it's a kitchen thing. Mm -hmm. Aperture in the kitchen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> entre aperture yeah. po. So we you know, gave it a little bit more thought and came up with portfolio which was a derivative of portfolio yeah yeah so how do you um, how do you protect a name like you must take like a trademark or something like that yes i do in the uk we have it has a trademark and i own it bully and before speaking to anybody and this is good advice i don't know what it's like here in the states but in england we have something called a non-disclosure agreement mm -hmm. nda mm -hmm. so if you do disclose your idea you present it to a manufacturer or a financial backer, mm -hmm. you ask them to sign it. And it can be quite tight. So that nobody can take that idea away from you. I mean, obviously, eventually people do. You know, there are lots of different kinds of But they don't have the cool now. name that you have. No. So what do you even don't. care if they knock you off? Because I guarantee you, my people will knock you off. <laughs> well, right? do you know what? It happens. Made in China, it happens. Yeah. I was made in China. There's six billion of me. I don't care. I'm the only one called me. I got the SteveSue.com. I'll have exactly. you know. Exactly. Yeah. I don't care who else is out there. Yeah, and same with clever. you. Yeah, Portfolio. No. One no, place. Exactly. Yeah, I but actually believe that like, if you own your URL, your, your website address, yeah. then it's like, who cares? Because you got the intuitive access. Yes. Other people could be making stuff. They could just be advertising for you. I'm sure they will, and I'm sure they, they will. But I, if somebody takes my idea, then I think I'll be flattered because I thought of it first. And you'll do it better. Always. Nobody will ever do portfolio better than me. I because always it think is of you me. as a portfolio woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I would, I would invite lots of artists to have their own portfolio and have their own mark on one out on the street. So you, this is one of many ideas you've had or just like you've had one idea and you're just sticking to it? Well, this is the other thing. I think one of the keys to success in anything is consistency. And my mind is like a Catherine wheel. I've had lots of lots a of ideas. Wheel? A Catherine wheel. You know what that is? No. Oh, it's, it's an English firework. And it goes round and round wheel. and round and all these sparks come off. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. Okay. Catherine wheel. Oh, yeah. I see, yeah. That's yeah. me. Yeah. I'm, on, I'm on yeah. one of those. I'm yeah. a Catherine yeah. wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's completely yeah. me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I hear you. So I go from one thing to another, from one thing to another. And you just have to say to yourself, hang on a minute. Yeah. This is the one idea you always think about. Yeah. Stick to this. Mm. I've heard that a lot. Hold on, Steve. Hold on. Hold mm. on. Yeah. Hold yeah. on. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. One idea at a time. Stay on track. Yeah. yeah. Stay on track. It's Put a pin important. in that wheel. Yep. That's what a pinwheel is called, right? No. No, it's not. Well, you I'm just kidding. Say that here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A pinwheel is something. A pinwheel still goes around, too. Yeah, it does. Yeah, but I'm just all these sparks you. come off. Yeah. You know, they go everywhere. They go so you're all doing over the place. one thing. Stick to it. That's your That's your on one tip. thing now. Okay. Yes. So in your space, are there competitors? Have you noticed people like... There are, but nobody has combined that particular idea in the way that I have. You know, it's either a canvas, it's either a waste bin, or it's either a mm. planter. Nobody's merged the three. 
I like, you know, it doesn't have to be a canvas. It can be an advertising medium as well. Cool. So like for, for restaurants, you know, for any kind of shop on the high street, it can be, be an advertising medium instead of something that looks dirty and smelly. It can be, you can mm-hmm. make it attractive. Mm-hmm. You can make it beautiful. You can make it eye-catching. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole point of it, being out there on the street. Well, terrific. And yeah. do you train people how to use it like, or how to even put art on it? Um, no, I've, I've had people approach me mm-hmm. to put their art on it. Um, which oh, I'm that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. They've approached me. I've had a, a French artist who's a French graffiti artist. She wanted to, you, you know, b- she we're talking about it. She probably wanted to change it. the name to Entree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, she was interested. She was a, because she was a graffiti artist. And where I live in England and Brighton, there's graffiti everywhere. So. Oh. You know, we, we have this program here in our city where um, they send out artists to paint all those um, transformer boxes. Yes, and, yeah. Yeah. And My mom oh, used yes. to do that too. Back in Palau, she would have like an art class and then we painted trash bins or walls and stuff like that. Yeah, why not? Why, yeah. why not make it more attractive and pleasing to yes, the light? And yeah. invite, it also invites people to be creative where perhaps they've never thought of it before. Wow, what the value of a podcast can read. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> well, thank you. Pod- podcast. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> podcast, yeah. Okay, and are you seeing any trends in your, in, in your area? Like, are people moving towards this type of implement for their yes, house Yes, they will, because obviously we, we live in a day and age where space is of a premium. Mm. Yeah. So, like, in an office... You know, you'd you'd have a waste bin and a planter, and now there's no room for that. It's about you true. Know, Plus, you want all the seats. fresh yeah. CO. Yeah, yeah. What is it? The plants. Called? Oxygen. You know, you want the oxygen. Cleans the air. Cleans the air. It takes the CO two out of the air. Is what I wanted to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All that kind of thing. You could plant lemon trees in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Did you know that of all cultivated plants, lemon trees are the top sequesterer of CO two? Do you know? I was just reading that two days ago here. Yes. Because there was this article in one of your magazines saying that if you plant lemon seeds yes. into a pot, and they look really, really pretty, and it was just yep. explaining how the lemon... They're beautiful little plants. Is, yes. And did you know that lemon trees have... It's called a small root ball to canopy ratio, which means oh, one, yeah. per, one part roots to two parts canopy. So for your perfect portfolio, portfolio product, you can have wow, a huge Wow, I've learned something new here today, Steve. <laughs> I'm a lemon nerd, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. And did you know that all citrus can be grafted into one tree? So you could have like a half lemon, half lime mm. in, from one tree. That's even more you fascinating. Could grow that thing. You could have like 15 different like grapefruits, oranges, whatever, growing all from that one plant in your oh, portfolio. I like that idea. Yeah. I love that idea. And then you can draw all of the art pieces of all the different things you can make with all those things, like a lemon drop or a, a, a key lime pie. Yeah. Or, I don't know. Orange cake. Yeah. Yummy. All those restaurants will want to get potfolios. And they'll, Good. Yeah, they'll clean their air <laughs> and they'll have a place with an aperture to throw rubbish. Yeah. yeah. But for everybody. And it's educational as well because it makes yeah. you rethink what we do and how we use things in, li- in our lives. By the way, rubbish. Do you guys use the word rubbish in, in England? Yes, ru- more rubbish than garbage. Yeah, because yeah. on the mainland here, well, actually, we're supposed to call it the continent now because we're not below the mainland. Mm-hmm. There's the continent and there's islands, and we're an island here. But in this island or these islands of Hawaii, we typically use the word rubbish, not garbage. Yes. And so we're more like you guys. Wow. We're the outlier from the United States. Isn't hmm. that interesting? Word origins. I feel like I say trash. You say oh, trash. Oh, yes, you do say yeah. that a lot here. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a, where is that? Yeah. Where trash. Is that from? trash. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of trash. Yeah. 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 But that is a resource. Yeah. You know, we, I don't know if it happens here in America, but in, in the UK now, we have people making art and sculpture from trash. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like aluminum cans. Let's not have the aperture. Yeah, Let's just plastics. glue the trash on the outside of our portfolios, and we're good. Mm. Yeah. And with that, we have done our 15 on portfolio and how to turn your idea into a business. Yeah, um, thank art. you very much, guys. Thanks for joining Crystal us, Karen. Thank, thank you. Yeah. So how lovely. do they find you? 
Because somebody's going to want you to design them a portfolio. Uh, yeah, first of all, please email me at info at portfolio.co.uk. Perfect. Thank and you so info much. at portfolio.com. Perfect. <laughs> and for more on this broadcast, check out ID8Studios.org. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>